Yo you guys, what is going on? It's Blazonary here. And today in this video, I have a part two of my moving saga. If you guys missed part one, I would recommend to go watch it right now because you're not gonna understand anything of what's been going on. I literally moved if you guys haven't been keeping up with my socials and the process has been insane, but I'm in my new place right now. Y'all are gonna see some insane videos from it. Here is an overall recap of everything that has happened within the last week and a half. If you guys are excited for this, make sure you go ahead and smash a like on this video and drop a comment down below and I'm gonna be picking one of you to win a $100 Amazon gift card. Why? Because I'm feeling generous. I'm so happy in this new place. I want to give back to y'all just because you're watching the vids and keeping up with my life and that means a lot to me. Say something random down below. It doesn't have to be anything specific, but I'm going to random generate a comment winner in my next video. We're at Ikea and we are getting the first round of furniture, first round of shopping. Yes, you need decorate, you need layers of design checking out. I'm a little nervous about the aftermath. It's a lot of accessories. It's not even furniture. The only piece of furniture I got was the bed and the two bar stools. That's because Ikea closes right now. 966-631. The next day. Just got my desk. Oh. There's a ton of stuff that we picked out so far. Based on the cart, we got like the stuff like bathroom towels, rugs. We literally just met up with the Fage like just now. Not even all the furniture, and it was $4,231. So right now we're in a sofa emporium with the USBs. Oh, it's even man. better. See, it's it's even better. Yay, I have a bed finally. This is when it got a little crazy. All-Star Weekend started happening the next day that I moved and I had a ton of different things I had to do such as go to the events, meet up with people, and do some photo shoots. We are back at the old crib, getting my computer and everything now so I can edit this video or the video that you guys will be seeing about the move. We're just about getting done here now. That feeling when you go to the post office and they have your missing packages. Around town, up and down Charlotte. Ugh, I'm running out of gas here. <laughs> Already got these scuffed up. Yeah. Back at the cribbo. Oh, sick. Dang. <laughs> got my laundry unit. I ordered a couch. So many calls I've had to make. Internet, different people for this, renter's insurance, energy, all this stuff that I have to do. What do I build next? I don't know, man. As far as moving updates go, I'm back at my parents' crib and I'm grabbing a lot more stuff. So it doesn't really look like much because it's buried under the House of Hoops event. Look at how stuffed this car is. I now have a dresser built and anchored into the wall. I'm gonna put my TV up on here as well. Then uh, in here, I'm gonna go ahead and store all of my pants, maybe some socks and underwear. And I can't wait to get all this stuff set up because then I can start making videos about my clothing collections so I can start living like a normal human. Thank you. So right now we are building a couch bed type thing. It's gonna be really dope. My boxes, oh my god, why are there so many? Recently I've been getting a lot of packages from Amazon and I'm also getting a little bit of a cold from a uh, Movazon. <laughs> that was so bad. Comment down below in future videos what you guys want to see me open up my packages with. This is this one. This one comes with little handles. These are ethernet cables. Somebody told me I should get flashlights for the apartment, so I definitely did. And this is not sponsored, but yo, if anybody works at Razor or something, like hit me up. I've been buying Razor products for a while, and like this one as well. Love to do something with you guys. This is my new mouse pad for my new desk. Good morning, everybody. Right now it is February 18th on a Monday. And as you guys can see, my blinds are creating an interesting pattern along me. There's just a ton of stuff that I gotta do today, like setting up shelves and camera gear and crap like that. And eventually I can get started with putting away some of my items. But until then, I need some furniture. <laughs> Yo, 
y'all, this table being extended is really dope. Well, it's been a while since I've done anything related to my camera stuff. I have pretty much took all my essentials with me when I moved and I threw the rest of it in boxes. It's time to set it up because I ran out of batteries and this is all I got left. I got my GoPro going. building some furniture and everything right now. Got to get my entertainment center all built. Now I was building the camera shelves over here and this one's up, but I really don't like how it's kind of wobbly. But for this one, it just completely fell out of the wall. So I'm just going to get some better anchors. Because then tomorrow I could just take my ass to Lowe's. Every morning I wake up, I do business calls, emails, stuff like that. I work alongside with my dad. Bought this on Amazon, so I'm gonna try this thing out, make the quality of the videos better. Then I'm working on to uh, put all my gear up, and that shelf is brand new as well. This is gonna let me link a camera to my computer so I have good quality on my face when I stream. My hair is gonna go into some weird middle part, just like that. But I just got home from New York. If you guys missed that video right there, I took a lot of time on my production for that video. Just got home about an hour ago, and I'm gonna be setting up my camera shelf. Finally got the camera stuff all set up. It looks really, really dope in my opinion. And uh, I can finally have access to all my gear and keep making the bangers. Let's get it. So basically today, I've been setting up stuff because, you know, I went to New York for three days. Gotta get back in the grind of moving. So I've been figuring out the space I wanna do for my office. I'm gonna go ahead and put a second desk right here. Have something in the middle for all like my printer and other stuff. And then of course you got the kitchen still, which is already going. What's up, Fosh? How are you folks? We got Val over here on the shelf uh, with the time lapse. Val, your help's always appreciated. I'm gonna go ahead and get into the mail time of more stuff that I bought for the crib very, very soon. It's probably gonna be tomorrow. But to you guys, it's like a couple minutes, maybe even 30 seconds. Now I'm just working on stuff like getting containers in here and just putting away more clothes. A lot of stuff still in boxes. Going big. That's what they tell me. And while I was picking up the food, Val wanted to redo the camera stuff. I think it looks good too. Today is Monday, the first Supreme drop. So we just got pretty much a majority of more stuff from your house to my apartment. Stuff like the glass case, some more boxes and things that had to come through. All-star weekend mess right here. I gotta clean that up still. Camera shelf's looking like a G. It's also looking more set up in this room as well. And I had to make a quick Ikea run to grab some more stuff for the crib. like. Curtain. What is up guys? It is Tuesday, February 26th, uh, moving video, of course. This morning I have done a lot of work on my computer because I had a lot of stuff I had to take care of and I also ordered some more furniture for my Kia. It's just more stuff for my office space, like I'm gonna get a desk back there. But as far as the rest of the apartment goes, well, there's a couple things I have to tell you first. There's still a ton to be done in the living room as far as this entertainment system goes. Tomorrow the couch comes in where I'll be able to strategically place this and uh, move it anywhere I want But I have a lot of freaking packages to unbox y'all as you can see by the sheer amount That's you know sitting right in front of us And if we go into the guest room right here I mean this is still a mess too from stuff that I've just been bringing over or stuff that I've just you know Thrown in here, I guess. This room is a major work in progress. This is my guest bathroom. As you guys can see, look at the camera that I'm using. It's not my normal Canon camera. This, in fact, is my Sony camera. Well, I want to show you the video clip that actually broke 
my camera. And I mean broke it. Here it is. Now during that time, I didn't think it was anything but just my audio going wrong or the video clip was messed up, but it turns out the audio jack on my Canon camera, that right there is the audio jack that fried. And supposedly these things are notorious for frying out. So I had to get a new camera. Truthfully, there is nothing wrong with the Sony setup that I have. I think that the Sony camera could make anything look good. I think that the Canon camera just makes things look kind of basic, but like, it feels good. The Sony is like too good. So I just got this package right here, and I'm just gonna go ahead and give you a visual example of how good a Sony could make anything look. Just go ahead, place your object down, and watch the magic happen. With the same lens, by the way, I'm just gonna use my vlog lens, just to prove it to you. You can see my little reflection in the screen and my mouth talking, but what else do you notice too? Well, there's no flip out screen. So this right here is a monitor for this camera. You can't see yourself with this camera. I don't know if I'm too bright or if I'm too dark or if I'm just perfect right now. The screen's gonna help me out here. Canon setup that I got. It has a flip out vlogger styled screen. It was perfect but it is now going to be my primary streaming camera. I don't need a mic to plug it in. All I need to do to stream is just take a microphone, plug it in, and then I'm good to go. Woof, with that. Oh. Sorry for interrupting you, cat, but I really wanna open up my camera right now. So this, guys, is the Canon EOS R. Not sponsored or anything like that in any way. I just wanted to share with you my camera setup and my journey as a vlogger, trying out different setups, different cameras. I've never used this new one before. Wow. And the thing about this is they make special lenses now for this body. They're called RF. So the only one that I have is compatible for this camera is this one. And this is one beefy ass lens. Oh my God. The uh, the price tag on this lens, this bad boy was $3,000. Why? Well, I'm very curious to know myself. This thing's a monster. Here's two other Canon lenses for comparison. Double the width and size. So this is the new Canon setup. I can comment already that it is extremely heavy if I'm trying to hold it super still. Like if I'm just gonna walk, like this is how it's gonna look. So I don't know if that's steady enough with this lens. Like this lens is probably better for photography. This is 70 millimeters, this is 28. But I mean, it doesn't look too bad. It just makes the room look a little smaller than it actually is compared to a wide angle lens. This is the new vlogging setup. We got the wide angle lens on it. You already know. This light needs to change. It's yellow. So sorry about that. It's not the prettiest looking light, but I'm really digging the new setup guys. About to go out to eat. I'm not sure what I'm going to do next. I'm going to open all those packages. That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to open all those packages. Hey, it's mail time. Let's go ahead and start opening some packages. Well, this first one right here is coming from Amazon. And guys, this is all stuff that I needed for the apartment. Something for my stream. It's called a cloud lifter. Second, I got a HDMI for my stream setup. I know I, it seems like I keep talking about my stream setup, but I even just got in contact with Twitch about getting the username twitch.tv slash blazendary. So we'll be streaming from twitch.tv slash blazendary very soon. It was recently All-Star Weekend, and I made a whole video about all my All-Star Weekend pickups. Oh no. As I thought I would, quite a couple pairs. This is one of them. There's a few pairs that came out that uh, were not shown. So let's go ahead and start. These aren't even mine. They don't actually look that purple on camera. They're like lilac, lavender. Interesting. Especially with like this, this bottom is different. It's like a raised bottom. It's like a platform. That's what it would be called. I'm really nervous. Why are you nervous? <laughs> because- Hey, I'm bad tackling this so easy, bro. The entire video setup is gonna get much better over time, and I don't know how long these videos are. Hopefully y'all are liking the longer videos. They're a little bit more uncut. I show you a little bit more of my personal side. Do y'all know what this is, or even remember what this is? Oh man, it even came to me uncracked, I hope. Now, I already have a Supreme Brick, 
but I wanted to get another one just in case because I bought mine for $20 and then I saw they were going for $160. I was like, oh my God, I might even paint it a color. I'm thinking about doing it silver. Oh shoot, we got the rays on the tripod. It's off. PlayStation Classic. I bought this from Walmart because I saw they were selling them at like a discount. Had a cop for the new place. Got a crap ton more stream equipment. Let's see, got another HDMI. Cam link, so I'm gonna use my DSLR like I mentioned earlier. My stream deck, so I'm gonna have like sound effects and cool shit on my stream, y'all, I promise. I'm taking this to the next level. Uh, audio cord. It is another one from All Star. Air Jordan 6 social status. But it's got like pony hair? It looks kind of like a crocodile skin, but it's not actually crocodile skin. I didn't know they were hairy, yo. That kind of changes my opinion on them a little bit. I thought they were like suede. I don't know. I'm not that crazy about them now that I got them in person. I decided that I wanted the Air Force One florals. Mm-hmm. Very nice. Really awesome. Love the colors in the floral print. Very nice, Val. Thank you for making a guest appearance on uh, All-Star Weekend Cops. Thank you for helping me fill out the women's portion because... You know, I just can't do that. We got these Nike Shocks R4. These are mine and low key. My dad had a pair of these when I was like six years old or something in like a blue colorway. So these are gonna have to do. Right here we have the Scarlet TI4 input thing. Dang, right here we have the LeBron 9 South Beach. The LeBron 9 PS Elite. LeBron 9 is probably the best LeBron too. This, ladies and gentlemen, is a Nike foam posit. These are here, the floral foam posits. Oh my God, please don't kill me. <laughs> Goodbye video of Salt Bay that everyone once loved. Recently, I've been buying a lot of items in Japan, and that's just due to the fact that the resale market there is really good. I decided to get myself a rug. I actually got two rugs from the same rug people, Ikea and Virgil Abloh. They decided to make some rugs together. Rug. Dang, I totally forgot about this second item that's in here. Unfortunately, I'm not gonna be able to show it until a future video. Stay tuned though, it's a fire one. So this one says, still loading. So I guess you kind of get scammed for half of a blank white rug, but then you get the other cool part of it that's I guess worth the 700 that you spend. So we got the still loading, and then we also have that one right there. This one's gonna stay in the living room. This one's gonna stay in my office space. Keep off. Well, sorry. So this rug is definitely a lot more sick. It just says Ikea, courtesy of Virgil Abloh. Flooring in quotations. This came in the mail. Guys, still pushing into the night, so we're gonna see what happens. We're gonna get into this ceiling titty. The next day. Good ah, freaking morning, boys and fam. How you doing? This morning, I need to get a jump start on my day because my couch comes today. And that's a huge deal because finally the living room can be put together. But that means, however, I need to get rid of this thing right here. So in terms of my room being complete, I still got my closet. I put this up, but eh, this is going good. My couch didn't come on time. In fact, they actually messed up my order quite a few times. And I wasn't really happy. I had nothing nice to say. But luckily I was able to get it re-delivered for later that day. So I ended up carrying on and getting other things done. And now the couch people are here. <sighs> Having a couch. Arguably the coolest part of the couch right here. Finally guys, we have it set up. Uh, got some lights right here, literally. Call this the flex piece. Y'all already know what we're about to do. We are about to get into a little bit of a mail time because I have some packages that I gotta get open for the apartment. Ordered some more stuff that I needed. It's about time I actually upgraded my tripods. They're low key a little crappy. No freaking way. Well, I wasn't expecting to open the package. They're shipping that quick. Oh, and another, I got the shower cap. This is everything I've ever wanted, y'all. 
That is pretty fire, honestly. I'd also like to point out how different my setups are going to look every single time you guys see a video. I'm just not gonna probably be satisfied with my entire setup until it is perfect. So you guys are gonna see couches in places, rugs in weird places, accessories, boxes, and all that. Keep in mind, I'm like two weeks moved in. Uh, you guys saw these. Speaker cord, extra GoPro batteries. Oh, so in my email, uh, I was approached. They asked me if I wanted some stuff. Everybody loves stuff. I love the splatter and I like the Coca-Cola branding. Also thought the socks are pretty cool. They have the same splatter, subtle diamond logo. And we also have a hoodie, big version of it on the back. Thank you very much to Diamond Supply Co. and the Unidentified Agency. The following day. We just managed to finally get most of it put together. We're still holding it though. Still holding <laughs> so. it. Quick update, I guess, about the IKEA build we got going on. They forgot some parts for the entertainment system. And just like how they messed up on my delivery when they broke something mid-delivery, I had to reorder it. And of course they never called me to reorder it. So now I'm going back to Ikea four times when I should have only gone back twice. It's very evident that we still love Ikea because Ikea furniture, I mean, come on, it's the easiest, inexpensive, nice looking. So I, I have no problems with Ikea. It's just sometimes, the delivery sometimes. Sometimes things get a little a little confusing. And that is all I have for you guys for the moving saga. I really hope you enjoyed my entire process. I know this video was super long because I'm literally throwing the outro on it right now. It took me about 16 and a half hours to edit over seven hours of raw footage total. These moving videos are really broad and so what I'm going to be doing in the future for my moving content is I'm going to be creating more specific videos for stuff like my rooms, my collections, my closets, different things like that. So stay tuned. These videos are going to be insane. I've formally been in the place for about two and a half weeks now and I'm really loving it here. So I'm doing all the work here myself guys on top of moving in and there's going to be a ton of different videos that you guys are just going to have to wait on because I'm still setting up the place. A lot of stuff is just just set up, but the setup is where some of the great juicy content's at. So you guys are gonna get to experience it with me. I'm gonna be setting up my entertainment center for a video on my gaming channel, which I'll go ahead and link down below in the description and in the comments if you guys wanna go find my gaming channel. And you'll also catch me on Twitch very soon with twitch.tv slash Blazonary. Thank you guys for watching. Have a great night day. Whenever you're watching is Blazonary. I'm out, stay positive, peace. <laughs>